Hello and welcome to this short introductory video to working with the GPS and the compass on the iOS device. Uh, in this particular case I'm going to use an iPhone 4. My name is Anders Olsen. I work in the Developer Relations Department here at Embarcadero. You can see links for my blog and my email address on the screen. Let's go take a look at Delphi as part of Red Studio XE2. Here we have a iPhone application. It simply has a couple of text labels here. It also has a couple of uh, text labels over here um, that will actually get the values of the latitude, longitude, and the altitude. Here we have an image that will represent the compass rows. We have a label in the middle of it that will uh, contain the number of degrees uh, that are, uh, represents our heading. Finally, we have our north arrow here, the little selection point up here. In code, what it looks like is as follows. We're using the core location framework. And while we're discussing core location, I had to uh, wrap that specifically because it is not part of uh, what we're shipping uh, at the moment, but we're definitely looking at adding it uh, in an update or something like that in the future. So here is the uh, web page of Phil Hess. He has a great uh, web page here uh, explaining the status of iOS framework header file parsing here at web.me.com slash macpgmr slash objp. Here you'll see core location that it is actually, it does parse and it does compile. So what I did was I downloaded the parser input files and then I followed the instructions on these two pages uh, on how to actually parse it and uh, get it working with uh, a combination of Delphi and Free Pascal. So we're using core location here. Using the GPS and the compass, um, what you do is you instantiate a location manager, a CL location manager. You will also have a callback mechanism or a delegate mechanism. So this is an Objective C class. Um, deriving off of NS object. We have two events here. We have a location manager did update location from location. This gives me uh, the location information that I'm looking for. Did update heading is specifically for the compass. I also have a uh, variable uh, controller of type me, my CL controller, which is my object here. When I start the application, on form create, I will allocate and initialize the controller and then I'll set up the uh, location manager. I'll create the location manager as well. I'll set the delegate to be the controller. I specify uh, desired accuracy and I start updating location as well as heading. When the application finishes, of course I release the location manager and the controller. While my application is running, I'll get continuous updates of the location. So I catch that here, and I get a new location. As part of it, it has a coordinate, a latitude, and a longitude. It also has timestamps and a few other things. I will put those coordinates, uh, the latitude in the latitude.txt, and the longitude in the longitude.txt. Finally, the altitude as well. Very much the same with the heading. I run the heading and I put it in the text of the compass label. I also set the rotation angle of the compass, of the compass rows, to the heading. Since I'm using ifdefs um, on the Windows side in the IDE here, I can actually run the application on Windows and see what it looks like. So here is my UI mock-up, if you will. This is what it would look like on Windows. It gives me an idea of what it's going to look like on the device, and I can actually uh, you know, test my uh, UI this way. Of course, I don't get 
compass um, updates or uh, location updates under Windows here. So let's take a look at what it actually looks like on the device. So here we are on the device. As you can tell, it gives me a location. I'm about 600 feet up uh, from the ocean and I have a location that represents the Embarcadero office here in Scotts Valley. As I'm rotating the compass, or I'm sorry, rotating the phone, you'll see that the compass actually still keeps pointing to the north. So thanks for watching this uh, very simple introduction to working with the GPS and the compass in a iOS FireMonkey application.